All right. Uh, thank you so much, Austin and James, for performing on Valley Advocate section thank you. Sessions. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Um, first of all, uh, can you tell us about uh, the material that you played performed today? Um, so the four songs I played today, um, pretty much all of them are, are, are new. Um, they're all going going to be on my um, solo album. Um, it's called After All Love. Um, every song on the album has to do with some form or facet of love. Um, and I'm actually going to be recording with some of your alumnus, alumnus, Hannah and Andy from Sojata. I'm really excited about that. Um, got a couple um, producers on the um, on the album as well. It's a pretty big effort. We're finishing up the, the sheet music right now for all the strings and stuff, but we're starting in January and I'm really, really excited to get this stuff out. Now, when do you uh, plan to finish recording and having the album out? Um, I didn't want to give ourselves a timeline because um, I really want everything to be pretty natural and organic, but um, hopefully the hopefully spring, beginning of summer, but um, we're going to be touring in, um, in April, so probably by April it should be done. Okay, and where, uh, what are your plans for uh, touring? Uh, so uh, I'm going to be going with uh, Seth Newton. We're going to be going um, pretty much all the East Coast, all the way down to like Greenville. Thinking about going to Nashville, but um, yeah, I've got a, got a bunch of dates on there, finalizing everything. We're really excited. One thing I really appreciate uh, about your uh, performance is uh, you switch between guitar, piano. Uh, you don't have it here today, but vi you're an accomplished yep. violinist. Thank you. Um, so how, how did you start uh, getting into music and songwriting? Um, so my mom, uh, I'm the oldest of, of nine, so she had a start on piano um, when I was four, goodness. And then, um, you know, we, we, we had it a little rough, didn't have too much growing up, but um, her and my dad really sacrificed a lot and uh, let me choose an instrument when I was 11 and I chose the violin, so I was kind of drawn to it. Um, and I played that still play it now and then I ended up picking up the guitar when I got out of college and um, really started songwriting um, after that so I've been playing for about 10 years now. And you're also involved with uh, the heavy calm. Yes. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the, the difference between your solo material and uh, the, the material you write uh, for with the band? Yeah absolutely um, so it's <laughs> completely different um, vocally and in, in, in you know in the songwriting capacity but it's um it's this big fusion sound of um, folk songwriting sensibilities mixed with some progressive metal and post rock the vocals are really heavy um some harsh vocals in there so i i it's it's been important to me to be versatile with my voice to be able to sing any genre of music so um Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can you know continue to to improve, and there's always something to work on. So I'm excited about that. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, kind of the effects you used uh, for your vocals? Yes, that, that was really interesting. <laughs> Thank you. So um, some big influences of mine personally, um, James Blake, um, Bon Iver. Uh, I, I like a lot of these. Um, these vocal effects and stuff. That's another thing I'll be exploring with my with my newest album. Um, it's just creating like this big soundscape, um, whether it's chopping and screwing vocals in post-production or having, you know, layered voices. Um, but I, I like the, um, I just like how it sounds. I like playing with sound. And um, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it. I'm still not 100% there, but it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And do you have any uh, shows coming up uh, early January or uh, throughout the winter? Uh, I have a bunch in December, but um, it's I'm keeping it pretty pretty clear right now for recording. But gotcha. I'll have some peppered through in Western Mass and Connecticut. But um, yeah, most most of it's spent on recording right now. So just uh, for any uh, you know viewers, uh, just go to your website just to kind of find out when you're playing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I usually post everything on Facebook or my Instagram, but um, Facebook um, just search the Heavy Calm or um, or add me Austin James, and we can. Uh, we can keep you up to date. All right. Well, thank you so much for your uh, time and performing uh, today. It was great. It was a great set. Thank, thank you. you so much.